All right, everybody, in this video, I'm free to try a peanut brittle. Uh, I got peanut brittle last year, was only able to find one box, so I tested it. It was delicious, the whole texture changes, the way it tastes changes. Uh, it was, it's probably one of my favorite things to freeze dry. So when <clears throat> peanut brittle was available at the Dollar Tree, I bought 20 boxes. So they come in five ounce boxes. This roughly equals out to a little over six pounds total. So uh, somebody made me some peanut brittle. So it's a little bit thicker probably than this stuff. We open it and compare this, compare it. Stuff it right on the tray. There's a lot of. So we can clearly see the differences between the homemade peanut brittle. Now I've always wanted to do home, homemade peanut brittle and then this stuff. So uh, I want to have this tray of the homemade peanut brittle right here. Because I figure it would take up a whole tray. Obviously I can tell by the look. Alright, so I guess I didn't need the biters. What I'll do is I'll get all these boxes opened, dumped on these trays, and I'll bring you back when they're done. Stay with me. Alright everybody, it's the peanut brittle's done. There's the store-bought box brittle. I will bring a close-up. There's the homemade. It didn't change a whole lot. But there is some changes and I'll show you. So, this is the store-bought. It's poofed up a lot. It was the thin stuff. Uh, real light, airy, melts in your mouth. Really delicious. And the homemade stuff. It just cracked. So we get to focus on the cracks. So, uh, still good taste. It's not as poofy, not as, but it's still like light and airy. So they both kind of dissolve on your tongue. So look at that. You can hear it. All right, everybody. So there's peanut brittle. I suggest you give it a go. It's one of my favorite things to freeze dry. It'd be a great morale booster in any uh, situation where you need to cut into your freeze dried foods. All right, everybody. Till next time. Be safe.